Hello again, this is another chapter 8 video. We're looking at collections, primitive types and wrapper classes. So we've been looking at these uh, concepts throughout this module and you may have noticed that arrays they can store object types and primitive types. However, collection type classes like array list and hash map, they cannot store primitive types. They can only store object types. So as long as something inherits from the object type, then they can be stored in there. And we've stored a number of different things, especially in our array list, which we've used a lot of. Uh, if we want to be able to use a primitive type and store a primitive type in one of those type of collection classes, then we've got a bit of a problem because it doesn't work. It's not that they cannot be stored. So Java's solution is to develop what's called a wrapper class. So what it does, it gives a, a corresponding primitive type to a corresponding object type. So in this case, we've got a primitive type of int, and then the wrapper class to this is integer with capital I. Uh, floats with with floats with a capital F and so on and so forth. So one way, the sort of the long the long winded way of doing this is to do it explicitly. So this is the explicit way of using primitive types with their corresponding wrapper classes. So what you do, you can create an int a type of int called i, which is uh, 18, and then what you could do is you could create your integer object called i wrap. Uh, and then when you assign to create a new integer object, you then pass the primitive type as a parameter to the constructor of the integer object. So what we can do then uh, to get the um, value from the integer object, then we can create a new value called uh, value uh, of type int and then get call the method int value from the integer class. Now this is doing this explicitly, but we don't normally have to do this, and we don't have to go around this. We normally do this implicitly, and we use um, to to do this implicitly. We use something called auto boxing and unboxing. So that's what this slide explains here. So we've got a class which has got an array list of type integer, and it's going to be called mark list. What we can do then is we can create a method called public void store mark, which takes in a parameter of type int. We then call the normal add method from the array list. Um, but if you notice, what we're doing is we're actually adding, rather than adding an integer object in, we're adding in a type int. So this is the auto boxing. So this automatically converts a type int to a type integer. This is the same then when we come across the term unboxing. Unboxing will actually uh, take an integer um, object and then convert it implicitly into a type int. So you can see there, we've got our marks list, we're removing uh, um, an element at zero. If you remember from the array list, that will return an object of the same type of the array list, which in this case is integer. However, the uh, int first mark is obviously of type int, so this uh, unboxes and this automatically converts the integer into a type int. Okay, so that's wrapper classes, auto boxing and unboxing. A uh, little review there for you to have a quick look through in terms of inheritance. Um, and that's pretty much it for the chapter eight videos. I'll see you later.